Joining us now is Billy Jean Stroud, Director of Community Development and the New Albany Main Street. Billy Jean, thanks for having us up here today. Yeah, Good welcome, to see you. Welcome to New Albany. It's a beautiful day. Wow. We got the Chamber of Commerce weather today, didn't we? I, absolutely. <laughs> it's awesome. And great <laughs> venue. I've already had a couple of people that uh, are watching us, of course, uh, on our live video feed and uh, noticed and, and we're very complimentary of the landscape behind us. I was talking about the landscape en route from central Mississippi today, how beautiful it is, especially down Highway 7 there. And uh, so they're, they're noting our trail here. Yes. So, all right, tell us about uh, the Tallahatchie River Festival coming up. Well, this is uh, the big weekend for New Albany, but it's the, uh, the kickoff of the celebration of William Faulkner's birthday. And um, Saturday is our really our big event day. Um, we start off with the BNA 5K run at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then our vendors line up down straight down Bankhead Street all day and then this year we're doing something a little bit different we're actually putting the stage on bankhead street okay so um everything's going to be right here in this one concentrated area so we've got little texas it's going to be the headliner we've got tyler tritt who is going to open up for him and then we've got some locals um silas caldwell and our very own justin kirk who's our um, singer songwriter that grew up in union county and so it's a full day lots of history Lots of here his, yes. in uh, Union County in New Albany, of course, uh, Bankhead Street. Mm -hmm. uh, for those that are not familiar with New Albany and maybe haven't been here, that's the main street Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And uh, of course, we got the City Hall right across the street, diagonally from us. And and there's the New Albany police driving uh, down. So. Uh, it's, it's kind of amazing to sit on this trailhead plaza and just watch the amount of traffic in this little town. I mean, it's people are amazed. Really cool. At, at the activity. So one of the things that, that uh, certainly struck me in doing uh, remotes, hosting remotes up here for the Tallahatchie River, River Festival and talking to you and others in New Albany is that there, there, there's this just collaboration among uh, all, all the elements of society here in New Albany, government, business, residents, health care, et cetera, um, schools, education, really just seem to have this, this strong passion for uh, just a quality of life here. I think you just nailed it. I mean, it's the special sauce that makes New Albany what it is. It's the energy. We're always moving, but we all get along. We all have each other's back, whether it's, you know, our A-rated schools, our A-rated Baptist hospital system, our um, police and fire department participate in everything that, that we do here. And um, like you said, the, the supervisors and our aldermen get along. I mean, from what I've been told in other parts of the community, that's kind of unheard of. But, that's right. Um, no, we're one big, one big happy community. And I, we're seeing some people move in from other parts of the country to New Albany, and they'll stop by my office and say, please don't advertise this place. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we, talking about that uh, last year. We, yeah. we had a, one of the real estate developers yes. was talking about developing like residences perhaps above some of the businesses right. on the, like the second floor. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. We're, really we're, cool. We're getting people all over moving into New Albany. We have just been designated as one of the 14 um, retirement communities by the state of Mississippi. So we're seeing that 55-year-old and older relocate right. here, which right. is good. Yeah. Um, but we've got all the amenities. I mean, we've got a phenomenal museum. We've got a ph phenomenal sportsplex. Yep. It's we've got it all. All right. So talk about the River Fest. When when does that get kicked off? What's the schedule and what is the agenda? Look well, like? we 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 kick off. Well, I, as I told uh, earlier this morning, y'all you guys really kind of have kicked us off yeah. today. But yeah. um, Thursday we have a, a fundraiser at the museum for the Faulkner Garden. Okay. Friday we have a literary competition. Um, that takes place at First Methodist Church, and then Saturday we have the the run and the vendors and the music and uh, all day Saturday. And the kids zone is going to be at the Oak Farmers Market. It's ten dollar wristband play all day, so it all starts. How long have we been doing this? Twenty seven uh, years. That's incredible. Twenty seven years. That is really so. The the uh, the fact that it has sustained and is still thriving twenty seven years later. Yeah must mean it's been a big success. It has, been a, it, has. it has been a big success, and we've got plans to make it even bigger, and I've got new people on board that have big, big visions, so just stand by. 
explain uh, to our audience w uh, what the Tanglefoot Trail is. We're right underneath the arch here with the sign that marks the Tanglefoot Trail. The Tanglefoot Trail is a rails to trails conversion. We have been designated a Hall of Fame trail, which is a, a high honor. It's 44 miles of paved walking and bike paths from Houston, Mississippi to New Albany, Mississippi, and people come from all over the United States, and we've seen Japan and England and Australia on it, so, um, you know, we had some naysayers right. that said it wouldn't, wouldn't do well. But it has. It's revitalized six communities. It's incredible. It's, uh, it's been a huge economic um, um, in thrust in this community, and yep. we love it. It's 10 years. Ten years this October. That's how old it is. Something you don't see a lot uh, in towns in the state of Mississippi, and, and when we're facing it, is the railroad tracks that are yes. right in the center of the street that we happen to be set up on underneath the Tangle, uh, it, Tanglefoot Trail. When I first got married, trains used to use this was still an active railroad. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, this is a railroad town, so. It's incredible. Yes. And uh, talk about the museum. The museum is one of a kind. I mean, Jill Smith does a phenomenal job. She is about to open up a um, Union County sports exhibit that talks about all the, the great athletes that's come from this community. Um, and uh, she houses the only Faulkner Garden in the world. And that is have, has been a, 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 a phenomenal uh, asset as well. It houses all the plants and the landscaping that Faulkner talked about in his novels. The birthplace, of course. It's of a, and the birthplace is there. They have just opened up a um, Airbnb on his birth site. Really, that's and, cool. And um, you know, Faulkner brings a lot of a lot of travelers through yeah. this area, the whole North Mississippi. So uh, by by that, uh, Billy Jean travelers uh, that are attracted to Faulkner, or would these be like just literature enthusiasts, authors, uh, sort of all the above? All of the above. You yeah. know, they're just they're fascinated with Faulkner for yeah. some reason. And sure. of course, you know, we, we're in God's country, right here in this northeast corner, you've got Oxford, Tupelo, yep. Ripley, Memphis. Yep. It just it's it located right on I-22. It, a lot of people will get off I-22 just for curiosity, yeah, and come through New Albany, and sure. they are just blown away. It's incredible, and, it, and it's kind of a unique landscape and a unique uh, lifestyle as yes. well, yes. Uh, relative to the rest of the state of Mississippi. But that's just, uh, I think. Uh, a testament to the diverse culture of our state, which Absolutely. is one of the things that makes our state so great. Absolutely. I mean, Mississippi gets a bad rap, but I think when, when outsiders come and see New Albany and see some of the other great communities that we have, I mean, they are immediately, you know, yeah. in love. It's unique. It is. It's unique because for the most part, the state of Mississippi consists of a lot of towns about the size of New Albany, each with its own sort of unique personality and yes. character. And I think that's why the Mississippi Main Street program, Main Street America, is so yeah. important for rural Mississippi communities Yeah. because it, it really is the catalyst that keeps us alive. Yeah. Earlier today on uh, the Gallo Show, Representative Sam Creekmore mm -hmm. came on. Of course, he represents this area, mm -hmm. and you, you were made the statement that uh, New Albany, Union County in general is blessed with really good uh, representation mm -hmm. in uh, the state capital. Absolutely. Sam has been a proponent for not only Union County, but really the state of Mississippi. He's He has taken on some, some big topics such yeah. as mental health and yep. and um, education, and um, he, he makes us very proud. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, of course, uh, the mayor, Tim Kent, is coming up next mm -hmm. and he'll share with us all the great stuff that's happening in new albany but yes. from your perspective or are you seeing economic growth absolutely i mean you got toyota you've got other industries coming in here we're still a manufacturing um uh mecca of the yeah. world in yeah. our historic downtown we have no empty stores so this has become a shopping destination we have people from Birmingham, Memphis, Nashville that will actually come to New Albany to shop. And you know, you, you made the point earlier that you've got such great amenities here, but you've got low crime, mm -hmm. you've got great schools, great mm -hmm. great health care, mm -hmm. uh, lots of great retail shops, restaurants, etc. I mean, that, that's the kind of lifestyle most Americans see. Well, and you're going to see later this afternoon, you're going to be talking to Joel Bennett, who's, who is renovating the Henderson building um, that we're we're next to, and it's he's got four businesses going to operate out of there from a spa to a restaurant to a boutique hotel to a speakeasy. Um, Incredible. Yeah. So unreal. they see opportunity. It, yeah, people people are 
investing in New Albany. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's yeah. that's what's required to continue to grow, co to continue to attract mm -hmm. population, build up the tax base, and that makes the schools and the public works and the recreation. But I mean, all that all, works together. All of it is. And Tim's the longest running mayor in our, our history, and, and he lets us do our jobs, and we've got good aldermen, and so... That's it helps. Awesome. It helps. Well, good luck. Uh, I know it's going to be a great uh, festival, the Tallahatchie River Festival, coming up. And appreciate you coming on and talking Perfect. about it. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You. We're stepping aside for a break right here. The Element Well Studio at the Tallahatchie River Festival in New Albany, Mississippi.